Hi everyone and welcome back to Gymnastics with Rosanna. In today's video I'm going to take you through a set of stretches to get your front splits for your right and your left leg. We're going to do a series of stretches for 30 seconds with a 5 second gap between each one and I will tell you what we're doing as we do them along with some pointers, some tips and how to make them better. Let's get started. So make sure you listen out for the timer, that will tell us when to start and finish. Our first stretch for our right leg is going to be our lunge. If we're ready, off we go. For this stretch, we want to make sure that our heel and knee are in a nice straight line. We're keeping our body upright as much as we can to keep able to come all the way up. That's great as well, so we're keeping our hips nice and square and keeping that knee over the top of our heel for the whole of this stretch. If you need to, you can put your hands down, but make sure you're still keeping square. So from here, we're going to push straight back, nothing moves. Straight front leg and we're leaning over the top. I like to flex my front foot to make the stretch a bit deeper, but we don't need to. So we're leaning back, pulling over that back heel and leaning our front over the front leg. should hopefully feel a nice stretch at the back of your front leg here. Next stretch, we're going back to our lunge, again keeping that straight leg and we're going to use the opposite arm to pull on our back leg. Still keeping our hips nice and square, still keeping our knee over that heel and making sure we've got hold of this foot. We're using the opposite arm so we don't twist our body round and stop our hips from being square. And hopefully in this one you can feel a stretch up your quads of your back leg as we're leaning in. From here we're going to push up into a pyramid pose. So feet are both pointing forwards, both legs are straight and we're leaning forwards over that front leg. Make sure you've got both of them nice and straight, both feet nice and flat, and then reaching down as far over that leg as you can. Next up, we're going to sit on the floor. Right leg, we're going to hold on to it and we're going to pull it towards us. If you're struggling to get your leg high enough to be able to hold on to it, if you've got something like a belt or an elastic, you can also use that around your ankles or a towel to help pull it up towards you. Try and sit up as straight as you can, definitely keeping this front leg nice and straight and pulling it up towards you to get the stretch. going to do a pigeon pose. We're aiming to get this front leg at a right angle, hips nice and square and try and sit up nice and tall. If that's, you can lean forwards if it's a bit hard getting upright but we're aiming to get as upright as we can through the course of doing these stretches. But the most important thing is trying to get that right angle but as you're learning having it closer in is fine. From here, this time we're going to use the same arm as the behind leg. Hold on to your ankle, and this time we're pulling, we're pulling that back leg towards us again. Trying to keep the front leg in our pigeon pose, right angle, hips nice and square. So notice how I've turned this arm that's holding. I'm holding it on the so my left arm is on the outside of my left leg. So I'm trying to keep my shoulders nice and square in with my hips at the same time. Last stretch for this side then. We're going to hold our splits. So go down as far as you can. Trying to keep your hips nice and square and we're going to just hold this for 30 seconds. Pointed toes are nice if you can. But we're all learning. So we can build on that. So make sure you're trying to imagine you're on a straight line. Keep everything nice and square. Shoulders square, hips square. Try and 
try to get that little toe of that back leg on the floor. And that is our right side complete. So what we're going to do now is use that same thing, but on the left hand side. So let's get the countdown timer started. And again, we're going to start with that lunge just on our left leg this time. Here we go. So we're still looking for that body to be nice and upright. That heel and knee in a nice straight line. Trying to keep your legs nice and straight at the back and your hips square. Sitting up as tall as possible if you can. If not, keep your hand on the floor to keep your balance. And here again, nothing moves, just push back, bottom over your right heel, front leg straight and leaning over the top. Again, I'm going to flex my front foot for the better stretch on the back here, but it is not something you have to do. Just make sure you're leaning over that front leg, nice and straight, and then sitting your bottom towards your back foot. We've got that position and opposite arm to leg. So this time it's my left arm going back to my right leg. And again, I'm holding on the outside of my foot, not round the back, so it's only just my shoulders. So try and push into that lunge as you can and then pulling that back leg towards your bottom as well. And that will be a really good stretch. And back to our pyramid pose. So feet in line, both pointing forwards, both legs straight, bending over that front leg. And we're going to go back to our seated stretch. So right leg under, left leg straight, and pull forward here. Remember to try and sit up nice and tall. And again, if your leg doesn't come up very high, maybe you can use an elastic belt, a towel, if you need to pull it up towards you to get that stretch. Just make sure whatever you're doing, you're keeping this front leg nice and straight and pulling it up towards you. trying to keep that front leg at a nice right angle, sitting up as tall as we can and our back leg is out straight behind us trying to make sure we're keeping our little toe on the floor as that's the position we want our back leg in when we do our splits. If you find this one too easy you can always make the stretch bigger by leaning back over your back leg. So stay there, we're just going to reach for our back leg, hold on to the outside, try and keep everything square, and this time pull your back leg towards you. left leg split. So we're going to go into our splits and hold. Try and keep both legs as straight as you can, even if you're not flat yet. We're looking for that back foot to have your little toes on the floor. We don't want to see sort of turned out feet, we want turned under toes. And try and sit up tall. It's easier to lean over your legs. Oh. 
but we want to sit up nice and tall if we can. And that is the follow-on for our front splits. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Bye.